Okay, so if you got your headset on, you should be able to hear me. Got it. Yep, you'll need the microphone right by your lip. For it to work. Oil pressure is good. Flaps are up. Ammeter is good. Avionics are on. So we've got the frequency here for the weather. WS Aerodrome weather. Wind 220. Degrees magnetic 9 knots. QNH 101 Nichols. Temperature 20. Cloud cool. scattered. feet. Cloud so we'll be taking off on runway 21. Visibility 10 kilometers. Brake test. So we're starting to move, and the brakes work, which is good. Geraldton, AWS Aerodrome weather. Right of that. Geraldton traffic, Cessna 172, Lima Charlie Sierra is taxiing for runway 21. Geraldton. Geraldton Airport. When they read back like that, it's automatic, which means no one's been on the radio for a while. So we're just going to taxi off to the left and do our run-ups and then we basically taxi along the whole runway to get to the end of 2-1 which is what the jets land on we won't need anywhere near as much runway as they do yep if you have any issues concerns just let me know if you start feeling unwell let me know and we should be able to do something about it so we can see anyone coming okay so parking brake set throttle for a thousand rows we've got yep we're good on that page Okay, so still on both. Fuel cutoff is still in. Shelton traffic, flight ox 613. Next fuel just leave slightly lean at the moment. We're on both. South of uh, Shelton, we're inbound. Flaps will be up, we don't need them for takeoff. Takeoff trim set. Set that. It's reading level. Set the sky. Uh, avionics as required, so we've got our frequency there. We'll also then need to switch to a Brolos, which is 127.1 after takeoff. Rotor friction's good, avionics is good, switches will turn the taxi oven strobe on now. Turn it static, is off. Okay, we've still got our belts on, so we're all good there. And windows and doors are shut. Okay, so departure brief, we're going to take off, so we're going to taxi down to the left. Enter the dirt runway, go all the way to the end of the dirt runway, turn right, which gets us to the end of 2-1, and we'll take off, run, off runway 2-1. We'll climb out from there, and given that we're heading in more or less the direction that we want to go, we'll just basically fly out for a while, then do our right-hand turn and go over the coast and off to the islands. If we have a problem on the runway, I'll pull the throttle and apply the brakes. Uh, we might go off the end of the runway, depending where we are, but we should be fine on a runway this long. Uh, if we're airborne with enough runway remaining, which is quite likely, then I'll try and land again, and that's the case where we might go off the end. And if we're airborne and we don't have any runway remaining, we'll pick a field within 30 degrees of the nose and we'll land in that. We're not going to come back to the airport unless we've got a thousand feet of altitude. Pipe brake set. Temperature's rising so we can start our run-ups. Throttle got 1800. Put that in. Okay, mag check. So left is good. Right is good. Both are good. Vacuum is good. Okay, transponder will be on 1200 for the flight, so that is set. Lights are on. We'll leave the landing light off for now. We'll be on runway 21, so I'll set on here. Know where we're taking off from. Check the windsock as we're taxiing. Heat or heat we don't need. And the radio, we've done our call. Okay, still good in the back? Yep. Excellent. Okay, so this is the hold point for runway 08, which we're not going to use, but we'll taxi down. Geraldton traffic, Cessna 172, Lima Charlie Sierra is entering and taxiing runway 08 for 21, Geraldton. Lima Charlie Sierra, flight up 613, uh, we're just overhead Onga now, inbound, uh, 8,500 descending. We're estimating this circuit uh, for landing runway 21 at Geraldton at 58, flight up 613. Uh, copy that, Lima Charlie Sierra. We're going to be airborne off 2-1 shortly and tracking out over the coast of the islands. Well, that's exciting, thanks. Uh, they have uh, three runways here then? Yep. No, okay. yep. Geraldton traffic, Cessna 172, Lima Charlie Sierra is entering a rolling runway 2-1, Geraldton. Uh, no one on final, no one coming the other way. P 
Vader on the floor. You're all good? Everyone's good? Good. Okay, give us some revs. Revs are working. Airspeed's alive. P's and P's are good. 60 knots. And we're away. At time five one. Weather radar down there. Yeah. Now they have a tower here, right? Or not? Nah, no. no, that's why we were. There was no one to talk to. So that was just another flight that was coming in that was letting us know what they were doing. There's not too many towered airports in Australia. Yeah. Basically, the major cities, and that's that'll be it. So we shouldn't be hearing too many people today. Jordan traffic, Cessna 172, Lima Charlie Sierra has been point more to the south, tracking 261 for Pelsart Group, climbing 4,500, passing 3,200, changing a bowl of CTAF 127.1, Geraldton. So we won't, won't hear him again. Getting a shot of the port there again. Of their apartment, yeah. Rollers traffic, Cessna 172, Lima Charlie Sierra, a beam point more to the south, tracking 261 for the Pelsar group, passing 3,300 on climb 4,500, Rollers traffic. Nice little rain cloud there. Yep. Only ever flown through rain, probably twice, I reckon. Six miles to the east of the ECO, the island maintaining on standard 2,000. Okay, so I'm just going to come down a bit so we get a nice view along as we run across. Give you that to hold on to because that's going to get oh, in the way. I wonder how deep this is right here. Yeah, it's not too deep. Okay, so it's going to get very windy back there. That's okay. You can get some good shots over there again. out the window without so supposedly the winds are going to be right down there yep wow that's pretty awesome Amazing. Now you wonder how deep the water is over those reefs here. It's so clear. So where's the shipwreck? It so should be off the front here. I can see someone sticking up. Just, yeah. just about 11.30, 12, not even 12 o'clock yet. Which I reckon is going to be, be in, yeah. Yeah, it's about where it should be. I do actually. Somewhere I've got this one. Wherever it's gone to. Thank you. 
clear. I got some yachts down there. Yeah. Probably marking some uh, crayfish pots here. Oh, okay, the white dots in order. Yeah. There's something sticking up here, but that looks like it's on the actual yeah, island. That looks, yeah, that looks like a beacon. Yeah. There's something over there too, just where the water's crashing. Yeah, that looks like where it would be. Right there. Just around the corner, yep. Lots of birds down there. Yeah, there is. Heaps of them. Oh, that's just unbelievable. Gorgeous. Yeah, that would be the wreck over there. Where is the dark? He's coming around on it here. It's on the outside of it? Yeah, you see it in the middle of the waves there? It'll be on your side. I'll just start climbing up a little bit now that we're back over the water. Is the, there's two lookouts here as well. This is one of them, and then the other one is on the other side of that, straight up that way. Okay. Yeah, because the loop will be pretty much straight ahead of us there, so it'll okay. come way out here and back around. One of the things, though, is if you do come up here, you want to have a, a fly mask. Ah, uh, okay. They're really bad. See, so there's nature's window right there. You can see this side and that side of the river are right there. Yep. And then it goes oh, all yeah. around there. Awesome. So there's a hike that goes all the way around this loop. Can you go out around it and you can get a good shot of it? Uh -huh. Well, there's the shot with the uh, with the two rivers the river and the river and the uh, ridge right between them. Yeah, okay, I can see nature's window. Really? Yeah. Oh, you know better than me. Well, I've been there three or four times. Yeah, so. you, know, you know what to look for. All right. So, yeah, we're now off to the coast. 
Australia. Yeah. <laughs> that one straight road, the one airstrip in the middle of nowhere, and flat. <laughs> That's pretty well it. There's some of the cliffs, is it? Cliffs coming up ahead of yeah. us there, yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. The ones that uh, have like the ship rock and all that stuff are out farther. Oh, look at that blue water. Yeah. Uh. So these are the lookouts that you can hike between up here. Um, oh, yeah. They're paved roads all the way to lookouts. Yep. And then there's a cliff, cliff trail all the way across there. Nice. You've done it? I've done part of it with Jesse. Okay. That's a pretty nice coastline. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That's one of the formations that rock out by itself. Yep. Traffic, Mike, any alpha assistance for 7, we're approximately 5 nautical miles to the north at 1,400 feet, on descent down to 500 feet, conducting area work over the coastal cliffs at 415. He's going to come down here at 500 feet with his passengers. Yeah, you can see the trail in between there. Yeah. Jeff, I found some posts at Rival Hills, Hawaii coast. Yeah, that's true. Yep. There's another bridge. Where, how far out are you looking? Way out there. Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Not too far. Yeah, not, not really that far. The altitude now is? 1,500 feet. Okay. Uh, Other questions Jeff might ask. <laughs> like, you know, when you're along the coast, how high were you? And... It'll, it'll be in the video. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. Show me it all works. The reflection of the clouds in it. Yeah. Looks awesome. That is uh, definitely very pink. So funny because he was so excited to take me to see the pink lake. Was it pink when we were here? <laughs> it was so strange. Uh, Sleepy little fishing town of Port Gregory. <laughs> yep. Just got to be up there is one of the best flights I've done. It's the stuff we've seen. It's been awesome. It's been amazing for us too. <laughs> oh, that's good. Gerald in traffic, Cessna 172, Lima Charlie Sierra, just north, uh, 10 miles north of Geraldton Airport, just tracking coastal southbound. I expect circuit area at time 20, Geraldton. Could you get the lighthouse? Yeah, I'll swing it around and we'll go around the lighthouse and then back in. We're going to fly straight across and then hook it around and land down Rock 14. Much bigger town than I ever thought. Yeah, there's supposed to be about 40,000 in the area here. Oh, wow. So just make sure you got your belt on. If you... I do. Yep, cool. That's all good. Look at all the nursery huts. Yep. Just fly over them every time coming here. didn't realize they had the stored water storage stuff in the middle there. Oh yeah, the irrigation, I guess. Okay, brakes check on the garage is fixed. Mixture is rich. We're on both. That's in. And we'll just slow it down. Take the first stage of laps.
Hey, you both good? Good, yeah, good. Yep. Sheridan traffic, Cessna 1 for 2, Lima Charlie Sierra is turning final, full stop runway 1 for Geraldton. I've done this in flight simulator, but never know. <laughs> you wanna have a shot? No, that's okay. <laughs> nah, just watch your feet on the floor there. Go back to the center of the runway. Nice landing. <laughs> Thank <Woo>! you. <laughs> we'll use the plane again, so that's good. Yeah. Geraldton traffic, Cessna 172, Lima Charlie Sierra is clear of all runways, Geraldton. With any luck, I remember which one we came out of. Just gotta park it over on the left for them. Hopefully do this without taking the wing off.